Welcome back. With this demonstration, what we'll do is we'll open up the cockpit again and come to a job that's already been prepared. Our pages are available for a layout. But in this case, I have multiple business cards and a few labels that I would like to gang up on one press sheet just to provide some in-house efficiency for the sheet run. So with this, I'm actually going to create the layout interactively. Clicking the button and allowing us to create the layout streamlines the efficiency within production. This is now going to be a layout that's specific to this job and the job workflow. I do not need to create a layout in a standalone application, save it as a template, and then import it. I'm actually utilizing this integration to streamline this efficiency. So we'll again use Cygnus Station for our layout that we're going to create. Switching modes now to what we call montage, I'm actually going to select the press. Same press as what we saw in the last example. What working style and sheet size. And then we'll exit out of the assistant. At this point, I have a blank canvas, a sheet of paper that will run through the press with no artwork on it at this point. But because I'm interactive with this job and layout, I have my pages available to just drag and drop onto the press sheet. At this point, I'm simply building a layout as I desire. Each individual piece can now be duplicated, stepped and repeated on the press sheet itself. As I move these boxes around, notice the dynamic marks floating and fluctuating with my change in position. I can even have an arbitrary angle if desired. Nothing that I would do for this layout, but it's nice to know that we can rotate these blocks in the case that we needed to for some maybe die cutting or finishing applications such as uh, converted envelopes. We'll go ahead and step and repeat that three up. Now this is kind of haphazardly placed on the sheet and I want to just simply organize that automatically. So I'm going to tell the system I need a margin on the left and right side of this sheet to allow for marks, registration marks, and I need gripper at the bottom of the sheet and maybe space at the top. So I want to make sure that that's not taken up by artwork. And I can automatically rotate these blocks if needed. If grain direction doesn't mean anything, if I don't need to score these jobs, then go ahead and rotate if need be. Automatically arrange snaps the blocks together like magnets. We're creating as few common cuts as possible. Now I see that I have a lot of extra real estate that I can utilize by placing some business cards. Again, right clicking on the sheet and automatically arranging the blocks gives me the fewest amount of cut blocks possible. They've automatically rotated to maximize the efficiency of this sheet. I have a few extra pieces of real estate that I can maybe take up by placing a couple more labels. Doesn't cost any more to run the paper. I can give my customer a little bit extra value. <clears throat> Showing you the versatility here, as I move the front of the front block on the front sheet, the back automatically moves with it. So we automatically have proper placement of our jobs backing up to itself. Another functionality I'd like to show you is the fact that these automatic crop marks that are on the job actually disappear as I move the artwork closer to another block. We never have to worry about an automatic mark going into the artwork of another size job. My color bar fits automatically, crops itself to the edge of the sheet, 
I can see that that yellow indication is the full size of the color bar, but it has cropped itself to the trim edge of the artwork. Once satisfied with my layout, I can automatically center, horizontal, vertical, or in both directions. In this case, I know my gripper edge is fine, so I'll just center horizontally, making sure my artwork is in the center of the sheet. I have dynamic marks, such as barcodes also associated with this job that pick up automatically the job number for identification purposes. Let's output this now back to our workflow job and see the result. The layout is now complete. I can now move to my proofing process and submit to my imposed PDF process as I did before, seeing how the job backs up to itself if need be. This is a little bit about the versatility and the efficiency of the integrated layout program and how it can function within your workflow. This interaction can happen at any point in time with a layout which we'll show you in the next clip.